Well, hey guys, Lucas here from Williamson Co Cricket. Um, and today, just going to do another update on uh, the first video and the second video of knocking in a cricket bat. From those videos, as you know, we've been using this bat here to knock in. Um, at this stage now, this one is completed with the mallet. Um, you can see on the face, um, it's, it's really nice. There's, there's, no, there's no visible dints. I'm now hitting really hard. I'm not indenting that, that blade at all. Um, so for me, at this stage, it's probably been around about an hour and a half of uh, pretty solid knocking in with a heavier mallet. Um, so now you can move on to the next stage. Now the next stage from here is something as simple as at training or catch up with your mates. Just hit some catches, hit some catches, you know, even some ground balls and try and put a little bit of work into trying to hit. Um, go into the nets. Um, you can either do throwdowns um, or slow bowling um, and just get a feel for your bat as well. Um, and always just check the face. Keep checking the face to see if uh, there's any seam marks from the ball. Um, if there is seam marks, means that the face is still very soft. Um, so revert back to the first step in, in hitting with a mallet. Um, I know now I'm, I'm confident that this is, um, the face is nice and hard now. Um, so this one is ready to move on to the next step. So I'll just tap it up with a mallet. Um, I'm getting some really good rebound off this now. Um, You can hear that the sound is a little bit different. It's not as soft. Um, and, and basically, I'm not indenting anymore when I'm hitting. So um, I'm really happy with this. Um, another thing you can do, another little test um, you can do is just get a new ball, if you've got a new ball, um, and just hit it up. Now, if it's, if, it's, if it's very soft, you'll still get indents from the seam just from simply hitting to yourself. Um, and just go through... You know, do that a couple times. Try and get it on the seam. If I have a look now, there's no marks, there's no seam marks at all. Um, so I'm pretty confident now that this can go to the next stage. Um, and then some people ask, well, how long do you, do you go from there? Well, you just need to monitor the bat itself. So. If you go to your, you know, into your nets and you are facing bowlers and things like that, and, and you know, you need to always keep checking your, your blade. Um, so have a look, inspect. Um, if you're seeing, if you're seeing marks, I said revert back. It's not time yet um, to move on. But this one here is a nice, nice hard face now. So the idea of the cricket bat basically is to to harden this face so it can withstand, you know, a hard leather cricket ball hitting in um, and it's also going to rebound so so have a hard face with a nice soft spongy back that's what this is doing so when we press to knocking in all you're doing is you're hardening up that face and you've got a nice soft spongy back that hasn't been pressed um, so basically that's how you get your ping is from a nice hard face with a soft spongy back um, if there's any questions or you guys want to know a little bit more or maybe you might have some more ideas on how you knock in your bats. But for me, at this point, I hit it with a mallet. I get it to a point where I'm not indenting anymore. I can test with a ball, hit it up, and there's no seam marks. For me, I know that it's, it's going to be pretty right to continue. Um, but as I said, it is very important. The more time you put in to with a mallet, um, and knocking in the the better the outcome of the bat and usually um, depending on hopefully the moisture levels right in your bat that you've purchased um, it, it will help prevent the, the lifespan of your bat so a lot of people you know you might buy a bat that says um, ready ready play or or something like that um, I'll be very um, weary and I wouldn't suggest just buying a bat off the shelf that has that sticker and going out to the middle because chances are it's just been just been pressed as as all bats are they're just pressed so i would always always recommend doing at least an hour to an hour and a half upwards with a bat mallet very important 
So guys, leave some comments. Um, if you have a different way of knocking in, share. Um, this is how I do it. Um, from here, if you if you get a bat uh, made by me and you select knocking in, um, this is the service that you get. So I will hand knock in until I know that that I'm not marking it anymore, and I know that, and I'm confident that when it leaves here, um, it's going to be right. So. Anyway yeah, guys, thank you. Hopefully this um, little three-part video has been helpful in terms of knocking in. Um, just remember, it's very, very, very important. Anyway, thanks guys.